Guys, welcome to Soccer Fan Zone with Inos Bat. Now, in this episode, I am joined with Mahmoud Mubara. Mahmoud Mubara. So, here it is Soccer Fan Zone. So, we are going to talk anything football. From the local leagues, our national team, the European and international matches, as well as the ongoing Women World Cup. So, let me go to my panel and ask him what you should expect on the channel as far as soccer is concerned. So, my brother. To our viewers, myself, let me welcome okay. our viewers once again. And the best thing to do is to subscribe to the channel, like, drop your comment, and share. And drop, drop your comment and share. Expect much from the transfer market, which is going on, and more update from our local football, women football, and many more. So thank you. So you are spoken about our local league, the transfer which is ongoing currently. Now looking at the teams that are purchasing players, what team is doing so well in terms of strengthening their squad? Okay, let me start off from the Premiership. Okay. The, it is there where the mo much attention is, yeah. as well as Europe is concerned. Let me start off from Manchester City. A team like Manchester City just ended the season. They were the champions of Europe. Yeah. Though they've let this guy, yeah. the yeah. Kyle Bundogan, lost him to Barcelona, but they've replaced him with Kovacic, which I think is like for like. Yeah. Even per the structures of the EPN, you will be, though you might say the Bundogan is that kind of gifted footballer but Kovacic combines of both the physical aspect and the technique as well so from my point of view i see that will be a good replacement for me. in the defensive they, they already have the likes of Rubin Diaz, uh, Akanji and for now they are also adding Vasco Vanillo, the Croatian international from Leipzig, from Leipzig, a team that that's the key addition. A team like uh, Liverpool, they've already handled yeah, and and yeah. handle. And it is very likely Fabino to my left, but they've already replaced them with McAllister, the World Cup, and, and Sobos like from Leipzig. And uh, yeah, it is very like likely they will add Lavia to which I think, I think will be a good replacement for them. Let's move on to a team like Chelsea. Since the, the new owners, since they take over, they've been doing a lot of signing. And be, the likes of Pulisic and other guys, they are, they are all leaving the team now. Because they, they have already joined the scene now, right? Yeah. So they have bring in Nicola Jackson. Which is a new a prospect, a promising star, one of the best players from the La Liga last season, in Kuku as well. And it is very likely they may sign Casido, though it is not done yet by talks are going on. This season, we shouldn't expect much from Chelsea. Oh, okay. Because it is a new project that I have started. One man that I believe in terms of when building a team. Is Pochettino, but his winning mentality, like as in winning trophies, that have been his major problem. Because at a point in time, he was managing team like Tottenham or Spain. Though he have managed a team like Espanol from Spain before, but the time we, we all a lot of us get to know was his days at Tottenham. He left Tottenham and joined Paris Saint Germain, and he's now at Chelsea. But one thing. He has never won a trophy before. That is a big, a big question that we have to. So Chelsea fans are going for a coach who has never won a trophy. The Chelsea fans, sorry for you this season. Now we are talking about England. And let yeah. me finish with Manchester. United. All right, okay, United. Manchester United are going to the same. Mount, right? Yeah, it's it's Mount. It is like, like yesterday, they've signed. 
Atlanta. Yeah, that Atlanta, you're like. Hodgeland. Yeah, yeah, Hodgeland. Yeah. Which I think it is a good signing. But he's coming from a different way. So, which, though you might say he was bagging in the rules for Atlanta last season, but this is a new environment as well. So, he take time. He might, like, he might pick up any, but the EPL looks different from the, from the Italian Serie So, though you might say the Italian Serie they are much of that physicality, aggressiveness. But the EPL combines that aggressiveness and pace. So, you shouldn't expect, if he, he hit the ground running, fine, but you shouldn't expect, we should lower our. Expectations. So that is for England. So let's go to Spain. Looking at Real Madrid with the youngsters they are bringing in, we have Ben who is already hitting the ground. Barcelona is also the article. And the life of Joao Felix, who is, I'm saying he's frustrated. He doesn't know what he's doing. So let's look at Spain. Let me start off from Joao Felix. One player we all expected to, one of the best players to be rubbing shoulders with the likes of. But due to his decision making, signing for a team like Atletico, in the first place, I think he could have big time cost. Looking at their style of play, Jao Felix and the staff, you, though playing for Atletico, you wouldn't see him playing much, but at the national team, he was one of the best players. He'd been playing against the Blaster, he even had a goal yeah. against the Blaster. Teams like Atletico, a team where by their mentality is all about tack, 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 tack. But the likes of Kotsuya, the likes of Jao Felix will be standing on one side, they want to bring them up for to But Atletico, he joined Chelsea, he started well, but he point, at a point in time, he was struggling with playing time. But one thing that have affect, affected him is his injury. Records it hasn't been good so, there were rumors that came out like he wished his dream club was Barcelona. Though he might be a good player for Barcelona, but Barcelona are not financially stable. Which I think for him to join Barcelona would be a big problem. For Real Madrid, they are doing a good of signing. Looking at of course they bring in other player to Bellingham. Across the likes of Luka Modric to improve. The next two three seasons, they will, they will be all fading out. So I think they are good replacement. But if they are still missing that that potential striker, that will okay. guarantee guarantee them like 20, 30 goals a season, especially 20 goals plus in the La Liga. Because if you have you have been checking out at the last 10 seasons, I wouldn't. Who oh man, the last three seasons, the teams that have been winning the La Liga, they are strikers on the average, they will be giving you a lot of like around 20 goals. So, they, though they bring in Josero, but is he carving the nature of the likes of Mustafa Karim Benzema, which I think will be a big problem for them this season? Though Vinicius and Stan, they may doing all the way by even yesterday's game show, the one who to put the ball into the, into the net. net have been their yeah, big problem. Though the transfer window is open yet. Though someone might say claim Mbappe, but it is not it is very likely Mbappe might not train this transfer. Maybe the following transfer, maybe in January that maybe Mbappe may not train so I think they may struggle maybe in terms of putting in goals. Okay. But they, they, they are building a good team. So what they will only do Striker. If Mbappe joins, it will be a team to watch. For a team like Barcelona, they were the champions of Spanish Liga. Since Xavi took over, he has been disappointing the fans in terms of he's going to do last year, he won the Spanish Liga. But a team like Barcelona, you can't be coaching the team for two, three seasons without making any. any Success in the European, European football, even exiting. This is his third season, two seasons, exiting the group stage of the Champions League. But a team like Barcelona wouldn't expect, wouldn't tolerate such things. Though it is time, it has more time to. Win. So, 
Saying that, do you think his job is on the line should in case this season he fails in the European football? I think it, it might be a big deal to let Barcelona fans. Because oh. a team like Barcelona, then that during, even, during the days of Feb, that like, a team like Barcelona, their worst case should be in the semi final. But they've been hesitating the group stage to, well, as Joseph. well as the Europa League, too, where but all Barcelona fans thought last season they were the favorite, but eventually lost to Manchester United. All right. Now let's go to Italy. I'll start with the case of Lukaku. Lukaku staying at Inter, Juventus having a talk with him, Inter working out on the deal. What is happening? And then recently, Juventus have been banned by the UEFA, not even to compete in the conference league. So, Italy, let's talk about it. One player that has been in the news for the past, two, even let's say for about a month now, has been Lukaku. And his problem has been. The fact, even the time that Chelsea went to sign Lukaku, like I was like, wow, a player you left for around, I think, 20 30 million euros. Like, you, you go so far to around that 100, 100 million euros just to sign him back. I think it was a big mistake that Chelsea did. Chelsea did. But now, this is the case. Chelsea thinks that they are hierarchy of Chelsea thinks that. Lukaku is not part of their plans, but they are also expecting much money, which is around 50 million pounds, which will be difficult for them. And Lukaku, to Chelsea thought that the Arabians will be willing to pay that money for Lukaku, but Lukaku is also not willing to play. In the, he, he feels he can play in the European football too, and that has been the problem of it's in as well. Alright, so I'll talk about Mbappe, PSG and the Real Madrid saga. You see, we've had likes of football players who said, I'm going to play for my dream club. And to get to the dream club, I'll start with my very own team, Filippo Coutinho. He said, I'm going to Barca, my dream club. He went to Barca and then he flopped. The likes of Hazard from Chelsea to Real Madrid, my dream club. He got to Madrid and he flopped. In Mbappe at this stage, extend the contract, I won't extend. Leave, I won't leave. I mean, I'm just afraid that he might get to marry which is his dream club, but then he may end up being a fraud. So talk, talking about Mbappe's case, what do you think? You might say Mbappe may rush to Real Madrid. It's, true. it's not that his dream club. You see teams like Real Madrid. Arguably, though I have my team that I support, okay. too, but to be honest, Real Madrid is the greatest club. Well, it's the mother club, it's the mother of all clubs. The greatest club. A team which have won the Champions League 14 times. Even last year, it took Manchester City to knock them out. It means Madrid is not addicted. Mbappe feels like playing for all that he, he has to do. For Paris and I think that he's done with them. It feels it is a new time that he has to take a new challenge. Oh, okay. Because his colleagues that as at now the play the players who are going to win world football in the next four or five years will be Mbappe. Okay. He's been getting a hat trick at the World Cup final sends a signal to we the football mm -hmm. fraternity. Because the likes of Haaland and other guys, they have, Mbappe have won it all, left with it, just win for Champions League. They have been trying several times with Paris saint -Germain. He feels a team like Real Madrid will guarantee you that he will get his assist. But this is the case. Mbappe, last, I think, the last two seasons that he renewed his contract with Real Madrid. The contract was two years with option of one year. year. So far he has served the two years left with one year. Paris and the man, the hierarchy of Paris and the man believe Mbappe is the face of their project that they are doing. And the guy too is not also willing to win. They have been bringing a lot of proposal, contract proposal with the guys not willing to sign. And this this is the fear of the Paris and the man. In the contract, they sign like if 
he he stays for that for three seasons. Paris Saint Germain to pay him hundred million euros. So far, he has served the two years. years. So by the thirty first of this month, first of August, Paris Saint Germain has to pay forty percent of their yeah the, the, the loyalty the loyalty fee. Mbappe is not is not in a hurry. It is the Paris and the Maharaki that which are, which feels that they have spent a lot of them on the But game. if it is to be how you feel losing such a potential player of Mbappe to a free transfer and then you are paying loyalty of 40 percent, uh, right? So yeah. if it is to be you, you everybody will agitate on this particular issue. The fear of losing Mbappe as a free agent. Mbappe is not an outgrown player like Henderson or even you losing, let me say, money as a free agent won't be painful like you losing Mbappe as a free agent. Sure. So they are just making sure that you, let's sell him now. If you, can, you are not extending your contract, let's sell you now so that we can have that money to buy other players. And I'm also feeling like Real Madrid is not doing PSG a favor. If you want the boy, break your grounds. Come, let's have a talk. Okay, this is the money you want. We are bringing it down. He has one year left on the market. We also bring in the likes of uh, Harry Kane from Tottenham. Uh, Bayern Munich is after him. United is after him. He's also having one year left on the contract. Which is an option. Yes. Option to a trade renew. So in that case, what should the clubs do? If I were to be in the shoes of Messiah, no, it is painful. But take Neymar's case, case as an example. The player was willing to go, so why don't you cash out, cash out on him? Then forget him because though you might say he's the main, he's the main man for the job for the team. But the, even at a point, the Barcelona lost. You know, Messi to Paris Saint Germain. Even they Paris and they came to sign this guy, how do you say? Neymar from Barcelona. Barcelona yeah. Paying the bad cost, which is around 222 million euros. The best, like the best, like the most expensive. Yeah, the expensive uh, tra football. market uh, yeah. transfer window player that has been signed. And since the transfer window. Mm -hmm. For me, if I were to be in Nasa Kalaif, I would just take that money and then and let him go. But one problem is that if they are pushing, okay, we want to sell you. So it means if they sell him, they have to pay them. But they have to loyalty yeah, to him as well. So that is why his mom, Pfizer, and his wife are bit calm. Okay, yes. are waiting for 31st July then. They will go and really, uh, strike that in this is first. Alright, so talking about that, let's come a bit to the Ghanaians or our players in Europe. In the coming season, teams have strengthened their squad. What Ghanaian players should you look out for in the coming season? Okay. The Ghanaian Premier League, the last two three seasons, do they were being that of court intention and stuff. No, I mean we Ghanaian players in Europe. Ghanaian players. Yes, in Europe. We have the likes of Ajayi Am uh, Amate, and then we have uh, our Ayu brothers. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll I'll currently, yeah. our Ghanaian players in Europe. If you are to be honest to yourself, I think Kubus is the most informed Ghanaian player. Even now, Kubus. Kubus. Across the world. looking at even last season, the year factor, last two seasons, going to the Anfield and scoring set goals is not easy. It's so not easy. Even just ended the, 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 the end of the season, FIFA World Cup in Qatar. He was, for me, he, he was our best player at the World Cup as well. With, though the likes of Amati, Chiku, all joined the issue. But the most informed Ghanaian players are still standard. You should watch. Though there have been a lot of transfer from the English teams. For me, I feel it is the time that 
Kudus has to prove. So do you want him to, or will you advise him to move, or he stayed at Ayaz and improve his himself for one more season? I, I feel he should stay. Should stay because him. their lives of Chelsea, they are burdened. So take going there to sign that yes. sign with that huge amount might beg a lot of pressure. And I I wouldn't underrate the Chelsea team, but it will be so difficult for Chelsea to be in the top four. No, it is football, but if you have to be honest to yourself, compare the qualities that the likes of Manchester City, Liverpool, who no, even Liverpool didn't have a good season, but even Arsenal, even Tottenham, isn't bad. If you have to be honest to, to be on paper, I think they are slightly ahead of Chelsea. But it is football. Just 2016, whoever thought Leicester City, but we know. All right, so uh, we have the world, uh, the women World Cup ongoing. I mean, Nigeria is doing well. Uh, South Africa, like our African fraternity, they are doing well out there. To the woman, the women football in Ghana, what is the way forward? Since yeah, I think of uh, Keto Okeku Tukuma. Hmm. Our women football have been downgrading. Okay. Even the black certainly like have been participating in the tournament. But their current coach, who took over, opting. Looking at the project she she's doing, I think she's doing a good playing five matches. Winning all the matches, scoring 14 goals for that goal. I think it is a good sign of. But I think it is time that we have to push much attention on our women of football. Because the teams like Ampim Dakwa and Azakis, Azakis has been showing a lot of glimpses in the continental women. So it is time we pay attention to our women football. You heard it from our man today. He who is the pundit for soccer fans of it in those words. Thank you so much for watching. Kindly subscribe to the channel and for more videos like this, please share your comments. Thank you so much.